Mick Walsh here. I'm a former college leader. I'm the author of the Learning Curve Wellbeing Program. And I work with schools around the world, helping them build their staff's wellbeing. Why am I here? Your union, the AEU, is addressing concerns you have sent them about your own wellbeing. So they've asked me to assist. I think it's a wonderful initiative. This week is about self-kindness, and I'd like you to download the self-kindness sheet from the AU website to assist. Aristotle once said that the most important relationship we have is a one with ourselves. So can you reflect for a moment? Are you consciously kind to yourself? Do you treat yourself as well as you treat other people? And how often do you say yes to others when it really means you're saying no to yourself? Now, this isn't being selfish. This is being kind to you. I can think of some ways you could be kind to yourself. I'd like you to think of some. One that jumps into my mind, leave school at least three days a week by four o'clock and leave your laptop at school. You can, I'm sure you could come up with other ones. And don't procrastinate and say you haven't got time. Do it. The enemy of being self-kind is negative mind chatter. And we all do it. We have to have ways to contest it. First way, positive, I can and I will self-talk. Make up half a dozen I can and I will statements. And when you start to notice, immediately start saying it. I can and I will. To move from pessimistic thinking to optimistic thinking. That is being self-kind. Another fun way that I love doing is called feel-good menu. Think of little things you can do for five or 10 minutes that just self-calm you. Could be bouncing a tennis ball, could be ringing a friend, could be colouring in. There's a myriad of them. And if, when you notice, select one something from your menu, do it for five or 10 minutes, and you'll be amazed how good you'll feel. Then ring up with three or four friends and have a bit of fun sharing your feel-good menus together. And then all of you put them up on the AU Facebook page for other colleagues to look at. I'd like you to download this from the AU website. It's a wonderful activity, Gratitude for Relationships, but we're going to use it a little bit different this week. Can you put one on the fridge at home for your family, around the staff room and every class in the school, give one to please. And then over the week, talk about how grateful you are to our wonderful healthcare workers. See, this we've got to start learning about connectedness again and start writing down, filling those sheets up with things you're grateful for, for what they've done. And someone in the school show the initiative at the end of the week to bundle them all up, drive down to your local hospital, go in and say, on behalf of our school, thank you very much. I'll leave you with this. To be self-kind, be gentle with yourself. Be mindful with yourself. Be honest with yourself. And most of all, value yourself as the greatest asset you have because you are. Thank you. See you.